Have you ever finished building a PC only to realize that it couldn't start? Or what about when you've been using a PC for months without issue and all of a sudden it just starts to shut off? No blue screens, no warnings, nothing. Well, if you've experienced any of these issues, we are going to help you discover how to fix them right now on DIY in 5. Hello everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger and this is DIY in 5, where we take tech topics and turn them into easily digestible bites. When PCs have issues, it's easy to feel like you don't know where to begin. But after today's episode, we will be armed with tools that will say otherwise, especially if that issue has to do with your motherboard. So buckle up and let's get down to business. Let's say you've decided to do a PC upgrade, maybe some new RAM. It could be a capacity and speed upgrade, so you'll be removing your old RAM and installing your new RAM. You finish the install, reboot your computer, and it won't start up but you hear some distinct beeps coming from your motherboard. These beeps are known as beep codes, and they are your number one diagnostic tool when your computer won't boot up. Some motherboards even have little LEDs to help diagnose problems as well. Depending on your motherboard manufacturer, these beeps or lights may mean different things, so consult the manual and you'll know where and how to start troubleshooting. Let's say you hear the beeps that point to memory issues. Normally, what this means is the RAM is not installed correctly. There is a chance that you were too aggressive and damaged the motherboard, but it's most likely that it just needs to be reseated. Take the RAM back out and reinstall, making sure that you insert the RAM in the correct slots and push until you feel a satisfying click. You don't have to push down enough that you feel the motherboard is going to snap in half, but you will feel some resistance. Also, check your motherboard BIOS to make sure the memory you purchased is supported. And if not, you may need to update the BIOS. This is why we always suggest using a memory checker website, such as the one on kingston.com, before purchasing to avoid these issues in the future. Now, sometimes PCs just won't power on, as if they are completely dead. In this case, double check the power cable's connectors on either end. Make sure the power cable is securely connected to the power supply and outlet. If it still doesn't power on, check the 20 to 24 pin cable on the motherboard. It may have become loose over time or during your latest upgrade. If this all fails, change to a completely different outlet and power cable. If this still fails, you may need to purchase a new power supply. Staying on the topic of power, not all power supplies are the same. For example, if you are currently running eight gigabytes of RAM with a single SSD with integrated graphics, your power supply may randomly turn off after your upgrade to 64 gigabytes of RAM, a new dedicated GPU, and multiple HDDs. So it's always good to check the loading of your power supply before upgrades are purchased, because the power supply could have been part of this upgrade as well. Motherboards have also been known to cause abrupt shutdowns. This typically happens on new PC builds or motherboard upgrades. Generally, it's caused by a grounding issue. This is why, although the motherboard is installed in a case, we never want the motherboard to touch the metal of the case. Once it does, it can short circuit and your PC will be introduced to Shutdown City. This is also a good time to mention that it's important to check the CPU, GPU, and other components. Again, check those beeps or lights. For example, some people have issues starting their PC because the cabling on the front panel loosens from the power button. Over time, as part of your maintenance, check to see if cables are still connected, hardware is still properly seated, and it will ensure that most PC problems will stay away. Okay, let's recap. If your computer doesn't boot, don't fear. Check for lights and or beep codes. Your motherboard will have a list of what the codes correspond to. If you don't have beep codes, check to see if your power supply fan kicks on. If it doesn't, check the outlet, the power cable, and connection. If the fan kicks on, but there's no power, check the 20 to 24 pin in the motherboard to make sure it's not loose. If you have random shutdowns, check to see if your power supply is not overloaded, but also check to see if your motherboard is completely away from the case. If you have other random issues, go through and check to see if everything is still properly seated. Most times for issues like these, it's generally the motherboard or the power supply, but as a final check, look at the CPU and make sure that it has enough thermal paste. Some PCs don't warn you when your CPU has caused the BIOS to shut down the PC as an alternative to burning up your CPU. Thank you, BIOS. That's extremely sweet of you. As always, if you found this video helpful, please like this video and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tech tips. Again, my name's Trisha, and you've been watching DIY in 5.